you said earlier at the start of the show that just a really wide variety of plants is great for the penis. For the prostate and PSA values, uh, are there any foods in the in the in the you know animal based world and in the plant based world any foods that if somebody says okay you're killing me. I eat animals and animal products every single day at every single meal. So doc, just give me like two foods to take out. What, what are the most deleterious to my PSA? I mean, you know, I, I can't go vegan. This is a little much. Uh, are there, are there any foods that you're like, oh yes, this and this take out or, and then also if there's some really, you know, super power dropping PSA plants that you feel like yeah. you tell me what to add in. You know, I think it would be unfair for me to say that I know, you know, that some animal products are worse than others because I don't mm -hmm. know that. Mm -hmm. I don't know that. But if you look at the work from Colin uh, Campbell, T. Colin Campbell, who wrote the China study, he did some interesting experiments with mice, and he would induce liver tumors in the mice, right. and then he would give them a plant-based diet or give them an animal-based diet. And the animal-based diet would cause those tumors to grow and the plant-based diet would put the brakes on them. And then he could switch the groups and he could cause the, the plant-based mice to start growing tumors again on the animal diet. Mm. They could cause the animal-based diets tumors that had grown to slow down again on the plant-based diets. And the animal-based diet that he was giving these mice was casein, which is milk protein. And it was yeah. Dr. Campbell's opinion that uh, dairy-based um, products were potentially, you know, worse culprits than other animal-based products. Um, he also has uh, described in a lecture I attended how women in Northern European countries that are high consumers of dairy uh, do have higher uh, incidences of breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And so I suspect that uh, if I were to tell somebody to restrict just one kind of animal product, I'd recommend that they eliminate milk and milk-based products. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as what's the super vegetable, well, it has been shown that there are anti-cancer molecules, particularly for prostate cancer in cruciferous vegetables. Okay. which is going to be your broccoli, cauliflower, kale, Brussels sprouts. Also green tea has uh, anti-prostate cancer properties oh. as well as pomegranate. So those would be three of sort of the, the super prostate foods. But, you know, you have to be careful about getting too focused on a particular uh, nutrient. Um, you know, when people ask me, well, why is broccoli good for my prostate? I say, well, because it has a lot of broccoli in it. Yeah. And I leave it at that <laughs> because, you know, we know some of the ingredients of broccoli, but there's a thousand other ingredients that we haven't worked out yet that might be just as important. And if we extract the anti-cancer molecule in broccoli and use it alone, it may not work because yeah. you don't have the other broccoli in it. So that's how I, I like look that. at nutrition. <laughs> 